this in the Pledge of Allegiance? Yeah. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> We've got a couple. You're a neighbor. You want to... Can you hear me, Lynn? Sure. Got, uh, is one of the Davises here, that's you. And you, Greg, or did you bring your dump truck along or something, or what? Ed, would you like to, uh, you looked at the minutes from the last meeting, would you like yes. to, are there any additions or corrections? Nope, move to approve. Then I'll, uh, there's a motion on the floor to approve the minutes as read, given to us, okay. Um, I'll second. Are you gonna do the talking, Susan? Are you gonna do the talking? <laughs> this is your second bite of the apple here, you've been here before. You've changed some, the well you're, yeah. but we have, you had come before us in July. Yeah, okay. So if you want to step up to the podium, please. What have you changed that's different from the last time you were here? Um, the last time we had come in with a request, I think at 1,500 square feet, it was to double. Um, we have a two-car two garage, and we were going to double the size of that garage. And um, apparently the, there was a little bit of opposition so to that. Um, so in the interim, we had the plans redrawn that would bring that down to 1,200 square feet instead of the 1,500 square feet. That okay, was so you're, uh, the, the last time you had a 27 by 28 foot addition that was going to go on? That is correct. And now it's going to be a 17 by 27? That is correct, which okay. would bring it down to 1,200 square feet. We also did uh, go around to all of our neighbors that are to the immediate west, north, and east of us, anyone that would be in immediate area to the alley where we are going to be doing the work to talk to them about the project that we have all of them have signed all of them have signed and reviewed the plans and talked to us about it and think it will be a great addition to it um, we are again doing it in exactly the same manner that it's done right now same brick taking the roof off it'll be an, a structure that will now take away a very old dilapidated fence um, and the brick structure will line the alleyway so the, this addition on the garage is going to be uh, fitting in with the rest of the house and uh... it's actually going to look exactly like the house the existing garage is modeled exactly over the house the type of windowing the gutters the roof line so you're putting the addition on the garage on the back end of it that's correct it will run the alley it will run east that's to the east yep and it will still be 25 feet away from our closest neighbor to the east side okay. who has approved and thinks the plans are very nice are you just here for information Lynn we are, and we're also concerned because we've lived in that area for 44 years of the different changes that are being made to properties to deter the look of the established neighborhood. Because that neighborhood is quite old and established with very nice homes on it. We all take care of our homes in that yeah, neighborhood. Can you step up to the mic? Oh. <laughs> I can't hear her, sorry. Yeah. So why I'm here is we're concerned. We've lived in that neighborhood for 44 years. But Same you're about uh, at least a half a block away, aren't you? Well, no, we're just across the street, actually. We do have a house next to us on the corner, which is now an Airbnb, which I don't classify as a residential. It's just somebody bought a house to rent it out, which we're not very happy with, with the state laws and local laws, but there was nothing we could do about that. Well, the one on the corner just sold, didn't it? It's an Airbnb done now. Okay. okay. I think we're, I think we're Simple as that. We can just talk about this matter. Right. right. And what we're, my husband and I are concerned about is that the neighborhood is starting to deteriorate and that building a building or garage almost as big as the property or as big as the house is getting out of the realm of the, the age and the historicness of that neighborhood because the Godsacker house right across the street 
is a historic building. And I think, I think we're overbuilding to get all our toys in one place. So I just feel for the historic neighborhood that it shouldn't be. It should just remain as it is. Or fix it up. I know they have tree roots and grass at side. That can be all cleaned up. But I don't think we need double the space. There's other places to park the toys other than in a neighborhood. OK. Is there anything else you want to? No, that's it. Well, thank you very much for your input. Sure. Susan, would you step Can back up there? to address her concerns? OK, but you want to okay. answer her? Yeah, I do. Hi, I don't think we've ever. Um, well, you never came by our house. Yes. Well, we, we were told the parameters of who this was going out to and who we should address um, to it. We um, but number, the oh, they had told us it was only this way. We did not know. Um, but number one, I just want to, I grew up in Sheboygan, and I know this neighborhood very well, and we were friends with many families around it. Mm -hmm. um, and that is why when we came back, we chose to live there because of the way that people keep up their homes. Right. Um, our home, as you know, the structure is going to be 1,200 square feet. So when you say our home is over 4,000 square feet and the lot is 18,000 square feet. It's a big building. You have to think of virtually. When you see that building, it, it's going to add to that. It's but if you, probably from me to the end of the second table is the 17 feet that we are adding on. I, I really don't think, we are still going to have 25 feet of a side yard before our neighbors. And it's not really just for toys. I'm sorry, it's not just for toys. We're actually on a snow emergency also. There are many neighbors behind you that are using our street to park. So even our existing cars, we're gonna have four drivers in our home with my mother coming in with us. One of the other things that we are doing is if you'll see our driveway is a single drive right. with escalated. It has probably been there 100 years and is broken up and looks horrible. My mother's almost tripped and cracked her head open a million times. So we are actually going to be repaving that driveway and taking out where those old trees and roots were to actually enhance the beauty of it too. Um, I really feel this, to me, the amount of money that we are putting into this um, to make it look completely still to match the home and to make the neighborhood look much, like, much nicer is worth versus having what we have so today. So is the driveway going to pull out onto third or are you pulling out into the alley? It will be onto third. We can't because we have a retaining wall in the alley. That was our initial plans and they wouldn't allow us to do that. Um, so at a minimum, we just want to get those cars off the street because it's already cluttered with cars for a snow emergency and get them up. So I really... Uh, I promise you, we are not doing anything. We are going to live here, retire here. Our kids are going to finish. It's our home where my parents are. We think that this is doing incredibly more to the property, looks-wise. It's not, we don't have toys other than cars, a snowblower, a motorcycle, and bicycles, but we want them all to be off the streets. Our trash cans will be off the driveway, which everybody's <coughs> trash cans are littered all over the alleyways. <coughs> and we're going to do everything to get it inside to enhance the beauty of the property. So... Thank you. Ed, do you have any questions? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Kevin? I don't, I don't recall this, this one. I don't know if I was here for this one. Why was it denied? This was in July. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't think I was here in July. It could be, this one doesn't look familiar. Why was it denied? Do we know? Last time? We turned it down last time? Is that what your question? Yeah, was it, it was denied the last time. Yes, because it, first of all, she's, they reduce the size of it. Okay, so it's so the size of the size the yeah, size of the, the structure was going to be too they, big. They have a survey now which they didn't have last. Okay, time. all right. So there's been two things. Uh, we do have a letter from Steve, who is, uh, as I understand it, have you got that letter? Yes. He's recommending it, isn't he? Yes. You want to read it, please, Lenai? Okay, so the letter from Steve. Um, states that he has no objection to the proposal that now that it's closer to 1,200 square feet and is proposed to be constructed in a similar fashion as the house in the terms of design, materials, and colors. Mr. Wolski, do you have anything to say? I have a question. I mean, it's uh, two tender and then which, which way is that? By the lake. It's on the north side of the street. It's on a corner. It's facing. Uh, oh, what is it? This person's right. Here's the address. Who objects to it? Where 
are his addresses compared? Yeah, it says 210 here on the checkers. I'll pull it up for you. 210 is right by the curve. It's right by the curve when you're going on here on. It's 232, isn't it? Isn't your address 232 here on? 232. Oh. Is ours. Yeah. He's about three houses down. What is your address, Lynn? 310. We, um, when we come out the alley. You used to live west of there, didn't you? No, it's the same place. Done. <laughs> haven't, haven't moved. But no, um, we come out the alley on 3rd Street all the time. That's our, because there's a daycare down at the end of the block at the alley. So okay. we come out on 3rd. And we need to use the microphone. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> So I, we I live. We live on third. Uh, we live at three ten. dollars, so it, it can't be deteriorating the neighborhood that much that you're talking about. Well, I'm just saying we live at three ten. We come out the alley at third. I understand the traffic patterns, the snow emergency, everything. I've lived that for forty four years, so I I understand that. I just am concerned that it's going to get too big. That when they are pulling out. I might not be there, but somebody else might be there. That that is a wild that between Huron and Superior is a wild block. Simple as that. That's the historics of it, with cars and traffic. So, just saying. Okay, thank you. Anything else for you that you want to say, Susan? Ed, you got any more questions? Kevin, no. Keely, do you have anything? I'll entertain a motion one way or the other. You want to make a motion, Kevin? I will make a motion to. Oh, I'm sorry. I had to hit the button. Yep. You're good. When yeah, the red light goes on. Sorry. I will second. Okay, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make the motion to approve <laughs> uh, based on the fact that they're, they're going to. De Create the you know the design to match the house itself. Currently, as it as it is, I don't think it's okay. Your track. motion is the motion to, to is, approve, is to approve it, providing they stick to the decor the, that they have on the house. The, their new plan that they have presented. Is that objectionable to you, Susan? That's exactly what we're doing. So, okay. Do you second it, Ed? I think yeah, I have a question. Yeah, I'll, I'll second it. Is there any discussion? Well, first of all, we got to get a second to the motion. We got it. Keely, Keely just did. Discussion. Are you going to widen the driveway then? Yeah. Yeah. Right now it's all cobbled together a whole time. Is there a permit needed for that too? Because of the. So, so the, the, the driveway is going to come out on 3rd Street? Street? When, when the, the, the drive comes out on 3rd right now, and it's a single drive that goes to two, and so we're just going to make it two all the way. And our expert can stay. That would be included. Hit the red button. Yes. Okay. All righty. Okay, the motion's been made and seconded. That you we approve it, providing the building, the house, it goes along with the decor of the house right now. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? It's scary. Let your heart not be troubled, you got yourself a deal. Is there anything else to be brought before the meeting? No. Well, then I'll. Just, Keely, you want to make a motion to adjourn? Sure. You got here just in time to say goodbye. <laughs> I figured. I'll second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Meetings adjourned. Uh -huh.